IBS and is hitting. Becky's getting gas. I feel like she always is getting gas. <clears throat> <coughs> Color, I'm choosing not to do it. I want to say thank you to the president for actually trying to help with this situation. <clears throat> You want to just wait till there's a few more people? Yeah. <sighs> Two very boring minutes later. There we go. Wow. And then they all start, start coming in at the same time. Satan is your daddy. Love that for me. Good evening every to everyone except Becky. Hello. That's messed up. Um hello to everyone coming into us. It doesn't even make sense. Anyways, so y'all, a hoot and berry happened. Do you want to tell them? Okay. Um. I guess I'm gonna go ahead and just say it. Um, we have broke up. Deja vu. We all know why. We all know why. So, it's definitely a hootenberry. It is a hootenberry. I'm gonna get emotional. You know when you feel like you're about to cry? Yeah. You get the little burny nose situation. Is mayonnaise an instrument? Nope. Horseradish is not an instrument either. Obviously. And you wanna know the scariest part of this whole thing? So the situation is, I'm kind of, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm just an anxious little puppy. Oh my goodness, what is happening? I'm just having a time. <sighs> Becky was literally the one, and I know so many people were like, she doesn't love Becky as much as Destiny completely false and no like i've said a thousand times i am not in love with destiny at all for the thousandth time i do not and will not and would not ever her again we just fucked who else but quagmire giggity, giggity, goo. <laughs> anyways Becky is literally just everything to me 
and she is the most incredible person in the world. I know you guys keep bringing up Destiny, but like, yeah, I was hurt then, but this pain is so much worse. I look at everything I've been through, and this hurts me the worst. Don't write on me. Sorry. Real raw high here. So raw, you guys. Fuck. I am so in love with her still. So many hours and tears and cries that I've spent. Just too many tears. <laughs> I have screamed in my pillows. I was bawling my eyes out. Nothing helps. I can't eat, can't sleep, I can't listen to music, I can't watch movies, I can't watch TV shows. Food actually makes me feel worse. Eating makes me feel like... <laughs> Ew. Nothing is bringing me joy. Everything just seems so like insignificant, you know? Okay, that's, that's ah! too much. Ah! Oh my god. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Sorry, I was just thinking sad thoughts. Wow. I'm good. Fuck. She broke up with me. <laughs> so that is an actual situation. It is what it is. So be it. She thinks that me and her should both work on each other. I should work on myself and she should work on herself. It is honestly so annoying. Love that! I literally love that. I'm just afraid that I'm never gonna be okay again, you know? Point blank period, I'm weak. I'm weak. I'm weak. And it just sucks so bad that it has to come to an end. Um, fuck, like why? Sometimes love just isn't enough. The last time Becky and I, um, you know, was February 2018. It's been years. Can girls have blue balls? I was too big. Like, because of my weight? Because my stomach's really big, obviously. You know those, like, cans of biscuits when they're, like, in the can and it's, like, super, like, tight in there, but then when you open the can of biscuits, they're like <laughs> If you guys saw my stomach, you'd pass out. My fat stomach. You wanna see it? Ah! Hope you like weird boobs. Is that Ed Gein? You know, I don't care because I'm struggling myself. Thank you, Chantel. I know you are. Amberlynn, where do you come off? You are morbidly obese yourself. So, but I'm I'm not in no way saying that you know me and Amberlynn's relationship ended because there was no intimacy or sex or anything. There was romance. There was sex. <laughs> I'm a very sexual person, so. Our relationship wasn't perfect, of course not. No relationship is. But you weren't loyal that. to me. Yes, I was. Emotionally? Yeah. Are you kidding? <coughs> mm. But just romance. because we're taking out the romance and the flowers and the kisses. Yeah, but. We want to stay in each other's lives, so my breakups always are very 
healthy. I don't want to be doing something unhealthy. Most likely to eat healthy. There's nothing wrong with being friends with your ex. I've been friends with all my exes. Besides like a couple. Rain and petals eavesdrop. I used the wrong word. If I'm ever happy again, I'm gonna feel guilty. So it is what it is. It is what it is. Obviously. Where do I see myself in years time? I'm probably still heartbroken. No one cares! I found a silver ring. And yeah, Becky and I do not want to be in a relationship with anyone. And I don't ever look for love. I don't ever look for people. And I firmly believe that love finds you. And if you're patient, it will find you. And we're kissing in the bleachers. I cannot see myself ever remotely looking at someone like I looked at you. I'm not even close. So. Like, I just, I just can't imagine someone else having my love the next day um i'm no longer single <laughs> okay who mary i still think this is a bad idea girl i'm good trust me just trust me people are gonna be like oh my god a pattern i promise this is totally different this time like trust me